Hi, I am Rahul Kumar Chawda from Kalinga University CS department and today I gave you a lecture on computer fundamental. So, we start today world in information rich world and it has become a necessary for everyone to know about the computer. A computer is an electronic data processing device which accept and store the data input, process the data input and generate the output in the required format. For example, a computer uses a IPO cycle, it means input, process and output. Similar, in our daily life we also perform this cycle, input, process and output. For example, we eat the food that is called input, process it means digestion is a process and output is generated by the energy. So we are also use this cycle input, process and output. A similar computer is also perform the input, process and output. So advantages of computer, high speed, a computer is a very fast device. It is capable of performing a calculation of very large amount of data. A, the computer has a unit of the speed in nanosecond, microsecond and pinosecond. It can perform the million of calculation in the few seconds as compared to man who will be spent many months to perform the same task. Accuracy. A computer is a calculation is 100% error free calculation. So it means they provide the 100% accuracy. The computer perform all the jobs with the 100% accuracy and provide that the input is correct. A storage capability. The memory is a very important characteristic of computer. A computer has much more storage capability than human being. It can store the large amount of data and it can store any type of data such as an image, video, text and audio and etc. Next is a reliability. A computer is a reliable machine. The modern electronic component have long life and computer are designed to make a maintenance easy. Automation. A computer is an automatic machine. Automation is the ability to perform a gives a task automatically once the computer is received the program the program is stored in the computer memory and then the program and instruction and can control the program execution without human interaction disadvantages of computer what is a disadvantage a computer is a machine that has no intelligence to perform any task easy instruction has to be a given to the computer a computer cannot take any discussion on its own Dependency. A computer is a very dependency. It function as per the user instruction. This is fully dependent on human. Environment. The operating environment of the computer should be dust free and suitable. No feeling. Computer have no feeling, no emotion. It can't make the judgment based on the feeling, taste, experience and knowledge unlike human. Nowadays a computer are in every fields. For example, business so suppose you start your business so a computer is a very useful device you maintain your data like uh, sales analysis like you can maintain your payroll uh, a business a computer is used in a business organization for a payroll calculation budgeting sales analysis financial forecasting managing the employee databases and maintains a of stock and etc now we are talking about in banking sector in a banking sector the today banking is almost totally depending on a computers the bank provide the following functionalities like online accounting the facilities which includes check checking the current balance making the deposit and overdraft checking the interest, charges, shares and trust records. The ATM machine which are completely automated are making it even easily for the customer to deal with banks. Now we are talking about insurance sector. Insurance companies are keeping all record up to the date with the help of computers and insurance company are maintaining a database of all clients with information showing like what type of information they are showing procedures of continue with policies starting date of policies next due installment of policies and 
maturity date of policy next what is the interest due and bonus these are the things now we are talking about in education sector the computer helps in a providing a lot of facilities in education system the computer provide a tools in the education system known as a cbe is computer based education system the cbe is involves the control del deliver and evolution of learning a computer education is repeatedly increase the graphs of numbers of computer students and there are a number of methods in which educational institution can be use a computer to educate the student it is used to prepare a database about performance of the student and analyze is a carry out on this basis now we are talking about in healthcare area a computer have become a, an important part in hospitals labs and dispensary they are begin used in hospitals to keep the record of patient and medicines it is also used in scanning and diagnosing different different disease like ecg eeg ultrasound and ct scan etc are also done by the computerized machine now we are talking about in government sector the computer play an important role in government services some major fields in this category are budgets sales tax department income tax department uh, calculation of male and female ratios computerized of voters list and pen card department now we are talking about generation of computer we are talking about first generation in 1946 to 1959 the main feature of first generation computer are the vacuum tube technology this computer is used unreliable supported machines language only and very costly generate a lot of heats slow input and output device huge size is basically need of ac no portable and consume lot of electricity so this is a first generation computer now we are talking about second generation computer in 1959 to 1965 the main feature of second generation computer are is use of transistors reliable in comparison of first generation of computer a small size of compared to first generation computer and generate less heat as compared to first generation computer and consume less electricity as compared to first generation computer so this is the second generation computer we are talking now we are talking about third generation computer in third generation computer is 1965 to 1971 the main feature of third generation computer in this computer we are using the integrated circuit that is called ic is a short form the more reliable in comparison of the two previous generation computers a small size generate less heat faster as compared to last two generation less maintenance but still is costly and still ac is required and consume lesser electricity as compared to last two generation computer and support the high level languages also like photon second and fourth cobalt pascal and these are the languages are supported now we are talking about fourth generation computer in the fourth generation computer in 1971 to 1980 the main feature of the fourth generation computer we are using in this computer very large scale integrated that is called vlsi technology or circuit and very cheap this computer is very cheap portable and reliable use of pcs very small size and we also provide in third generation uh, sorry fourth generation computer in pipeline processing now is now the ac is not required concept of internet has introduced and great development in the field of networks now we are talking about fifth generation of computer in 1980 onwards the main feature of fifth generation computer in this generation we are using the ultra large scale integrated circuit technology and developed deployment of the true artificial intelligence the deployment of natural language processing advantages advancement in a parallel processing advancement in semi uh, superconductor technologies and more user friendly interface with uh, multimedia features the availability of very powerful and 
compact computer at cheaper rate. Now we are talking about type of computers. The first type is PC. PC is basically a, it is a single user computer system having the moderately powerful microprocessor. Next is workstation. It is a, also a single user computer system similar to the personal computer. However, a powerful microprocessor has. Now we are talking about mini computer. A mini computer, it is a multi-user computer system is capable of supporting a hundred of users simultaneously. Now we are talking about mainframe computer. What is a mainframe? It is a multi-user computer system and is capable of supporting a hundred of users simultaneously but software technology is different from a mini computer. Now we are talking about supercomputer. It is an extreme fast computer which can execute hundred of million of instruction per second. And this computer is basically used for weather forecasting, scientific uh, analysis and scientists are used. Now the next topic is CPU that is called central processing unit. A CPU is considered as a brain of computer. CPUs perform all type of data processing operations. It stores the data intermediate results and instruction is called a program. It controls the operation of all parts of the computer like keyboard, mouse and, and uh, other paraphrase devices. CPU itself has following three components memory and storage unit, control unit and ALU that is called arithmetic logical unit. So we are talking about memory or storage unit. This unit can store the instruction, data and intermediate results. This unit is supply the information to other unit of the computer when needed. It is also known as the internal storage unit or the main memory or the primary storage or random access memory that is called RAM. Now we are talking about control unit. What is control unit? This unit control the operations of all the parts of computer but does not carry out any actual data processing operations. Next is ALU that is called arithmetic logical unit. This unit consists have a two subsections name mainly. First is the arithmetic section, second is a logical section. Now we are talking about arithmetic section. A function of arithmetic section is to be perform arithmetic operation like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. All complex operations are done by making the repetitive use of the above operations. Logical section. A function of logical section is to be perform logical operations such as a comparison, comparing, selecting, matching and merging of data. Some of the important input devices we are talking about. What is the input devices like keyboard, mouse, joystick, light pen, trackball mouse, scanner, graphics tablet, microphone, magnetic ink card reader that is called MICR, optical character reader that is called OCR, barcode reader, optical mark reader that is called OMR. These are the input devices. Some of the important output device used in a computer like monitor, graphics plotter, and printer. These are the output devices. Now we are talking about memory. What is a memory? A memory is just like a human brain. It is used to be store the data, instruction, computer memory is to store a space in the computer where the data to be a proceed and instruction required for processing are stored. The memory is divided into large number of small parts, cell, uh, parts called cell. The each location or cell has unique address which varies from 0 to memory size. For example, if the computer has a 64 K words, then this memory unit has 64 multiplied by 102 the equal to 6536. The memory location, the address of the location vary from 0 to 65535. A memory type, three types, cache memory, primary memory, and secondary memory that is called now we are talking about cache memory a cache memory is a very high speed semiconductor memory which can speed up the cpu 
it act as a buffer between the cpu and main memory it used to hold those parts of data and program which are most frequently used by cpu the part of data and program are transferred from the disk to cache memory by the operating system from where the cpu can access them what is the advantages of the advantages of cache memory are the cache memory is a faster than main memory it consume less access time as compared to main memory and it store the program that can be executed within a short period of time it is store the data for the temporary use and what is the disadvantages the disadvantages of cache memory a cache memory has limited capacity it's very expensive now we are talking about primary primary memory it's also called a main memory a primary memory holds only those data and instruction on which the computer is correctly working it has a limited capacity of data it's lost when the power is switched off and it's generally made up the semiconductor devices this memories are not as a fast as registers the data and instructions required to be a proceed resides in the main memory it is divided into two parts or two sub categories is called ram and rom ram is called random access memory is the internal memory of cpu for storing the data program and program result it is a read write memory which is store the data until the machine is working as soon as machine is switched off data is erased now we are talking about rom that is called read only memory the memory from which we can only read but not write on it this type of memory is non volatile the information is stored permanently in such a memories during the manufacture a rom store such instruction that are be required to start a computer this operation is referred to as a bootstrapper rom chip are not only used in the computer but also used in the other electronic items like washing machine microwave oven or ac the characteristics of memory these are the semiconductor memories it is known as a the main memory data is lost in the case of power is switched off it is the working memory of the computer faster than semiconductor memories a computer cannot run without primary memory now we are talking about secondary memory what is a secondary memory this type of memory is also known as a external memory it is slower than main memory these are used for storing data information permanently and cpu directly does not access this memories inserted they are accessed via input output routing the contents of the secondary memory are first transferred to the main memory and then the cpu can access it for example disk cd rom dvd hard drive usb pen drive these are the secondary storage devices now we are talking about motherboard the motherboard serve as a single platform to connect all of the part of the computer together it connect the cpu memory hard drive optical drives video card sound card graphics card and other ports and explanation cards the directly or via cables it can be a consider as the backbone of computer or most of the popular manufacturers are like intel asus a open a bit bio stars gigabyte msi these are the popular manufacturers now we are talking about port a port is a physical docking point using which a external device can be connected to the computer it can also be a programmatical docking and point and through which the information flow from a program to the computer over the internet and now we are talking about characteristics of port a port has a following characteristics 
external device are connected to computer using cable and ports the ports are slots on the motherboard into which a cable of external devices is plug in example of external device attached via ports are the mouse keyboard monitor microphone speaker etc now we are talking about first port that is called serial port used for external modem or older computer mouse the two versions 9 pin or 25 pin models the data travels rate at 115 kilobytes per second now we are talking about parallel port is used for scanner and printer also called a printer port that is point is 25 pin model next we are talking about ps2 ports is used for old computer keyboard and mouse also called mouse port and most of the old computer provide to ps2 ports and each for the mouse and keyboard now we are talking about universal serial bus that is called usb it can connect all kinds of external usb devices such as a external hard drive printer a scanner mouse keyboard it was introduced in 1997 the most of the computer provide the two usb ports as minimum a data travel at 12 megabyte per second the usb is complement devices can get the power from a usb port vga port is connect the monitor to a computer's video card and it has a 15 holes or 15 pins the similar to the serial port connector now we are talking about power connector the connect to the computer's power cable that plugs into the power bar or wall sockets next is a fire wire ports the transfer the large amount of data at very fast speed the connect the camcorders video equipments to the computer and data travel at 400 to 800 megabyte per second invented by apple and it has three variant 4 pin 6 pin and 9 pin next is modem port is connect a pc modem to the telephone network ethernet port connect to the network and high speed internet connect the networks cable to computer and this port is reside on a ethernet card data travel at 10 megabyte to 1000 megabyte per second it depend upon the network bandwidth now we are talking about game port the connect to the joystick of a pc now replaced by usb next is a digital video interface that is called dvi port is connect the flat panel lcd monitors to use a computer high end video graphics card and very popular among the video card manufacturers sockets sockets connect the microphone and speaker to the sound card of the computer now we are talking about software what is a software a software is a set of program which is designed to perform a well defined functions a program is sequence of instructions written to solve a particular problem there are two types of software first one is a system software second one is called application software what is system software The system software is a collection of program designed to operate, control and extend the processing capability of computer itself. The system software is generally prepared by the computer manufacturers and most of the software these software's products comprisingly program is written in the low level language which is interact with the hardware at the very basic level. System software serve as the interface between the hardware and and user some of the example of system software are like operating system compiler interpreter assembler etc now we are talking about application software application software product are designed to satisfy a particular need of particular environment all software applications prepared in the computer labs and can come under the categories of application software application software is mainly is consist of single program such as a microsoft notepad for writing and editing a simple text is also 
consists of collection of programs often a called a software package and which is worked together. A complete a task such as a separate sheet package. Thank you.